Hello YouTube and newsletter subscribers, this is Terrell from Terrell03.com and today is 7-14-2014. This is the fifth video in the series on the earth changes that we've been monitoring and this is going to be updated right here. All of these videos are going to be uploaded at the same time. Plus there's going to be a radio show, two hours, for this section. I've already made the two-hour radio show for this section and for this section so this is slowly coming together as I get time to to get all this information updated then I'll send it to the webmaster and this section will be all changed on the same day which should be uh, within about a week or so. So what we're looking at this time is the earth changes and the number one thing that we're monitoring is the earthquakes. Big earthquakes double in 2014 of course there's propaganda involved that they're not linked. They are linked, but these people do not recognize there's something coming from space that is causing it. Look at the number of damaging six to eight magnitude earthquakes over the last hundred years, and then we see this at this side. There's something going on here. In the planetary alignments, the lunar alignments, supermoons, they've been happening all the time. This is something that is different that's going on here that caused this parabolic move recently in these large magnitude quakes. We're also following the the volcanism, global volcanism, 1960 to present. It's going off the chart over here. New volcanic eruptions happening all the time in the newsletters each week. New volcanic eruptions, new stuff that's going on all the time. So that's something that we're monitoring and we're watching an increase in what's going on here. The rapid magnetic pole migration that's going on here. The little look at the little movement over a long period of time and now boom boom boom. Gigantic moves taking place now. The rapid pole shift, another parabolic move that's going on. These parabolic moves in the charts are something that is happening with methane releases, with the warming of our planet, with a lot of different things. Like the, that, like the earthquakes that I just showed you. This is how the ocean conveyor disruption began. You see the shrinking of the ice caps? The largest ma magnetite deposit on Earth is under here. Induction process is transforming electromagnetic energy into heat energy through Earth metals, and that's causing the North Pole to shrink much faster than the South Pole, the Arctic ice there. Okay, now what happens is there's less and less water there's less and less drip coming with each season that causes the ocean conveyor to slow down now we're seeing actual rebuilding of this area in defiance of the electromagnetic and the induction effect because of jet stream anomalies that are associated with it extreme weather could be tied to jet stream fluctuations well that's what happens whenever the ocean conveyor gets thrown off because there's a dynamic that exists between ocean conveyor disruption and the jet stream fluctuations that are happening. And that creates these large polar vortices that are coming down. Normally, the warm water at the equator makes its way north through the ocean conveyor. So it passes underneath the, the uh, jet stream, and the warm water goes north, and it's a natural balance. When the Earth cannot move this, this hot water, which, by the way, record hot temperatures along the equator because ocean conveyor disruption. So the warm water can't make it back north naturally. So the cold air trapped above the jet has to find its way back south. What you see here are low pressure areas that are spinning off the Arctic air that are moving southward. That is allowing the cold and warm masses, air masses, to neutralize. And that's what we're supposed to see. We're still seeing, in which I was wrong about one of my predictions, this cold air is lingering and holding on. We're seeing more... Uh, of these polar vortices being created, they're weaker and weaker with each time, but eventually the warm air is going to move up and start displacing that. Increase in sinkholes that are going on around the world right now. The earth continues to crack. More and more stories about sinkholes increasing. This is happening all over the world right now sinkholes, sinkholes, sinkholes. This is partly due to the change in the aquifers. Remember whenever we had the earthquake events 
me go back over here for a second. These earthquake events right here, the near side alignments with Chile and with Japan, Earth aquifers shifted around the world. So water levels are being affected by the gravitational effect and the Earth is vibrating, it's shaking. So gradually the, a harmonic situation is taking place, frequency, resonance, and the Earth crust is giving way, fracturing, cracking, and then sinkhole formation and we're seeing that increase just like in a 2012 movie you see the earthquakes you see the volcanism and you see sinkholes and you're seeing all of these symptoms taking place in slow motion mass animal deaths list of mass animal deaths look at the list this is just for February of 2013 February of 2013 and these are when most of them happen over on this side because this is near outside orbit position. We see the same thing happening in July. Just after July we're getting to run into more of these mass animal deaths. This happens because there's a vortex that forms in the northern hemisphere more than the southern hemisphere and animals that are migrating follow the magnetic lines. They're following the magnetic lines that cross shore and then the fish are being piled up in the coves, in the bays. They're using up all the oxygen because their natural instinct is to follow the magnetite in their tissues. They think they're swimming north or south and they're swimming east. So on the west coast of the United States, in Norway, in areas like that, 20 tons of fish will pile up and they're wondering why. And that's the answer. It has to do with earth magnetism that is fluctuating. And it's not only on our planet. Jupiter's core is melting and the reason is because magnetic portal connection from the black star and near proximity to Jupiter. So this is a proximity thing and the black star siphoning off electromagnetism that's being redirected to the planets. So the planets on the opposite side of the solar system are not influenced so much. The ones on the same side of the solar system like, like Saturn particularly has been on the right, has been on the the Leo side of the constellation here lately of the solar system and so the superstorm on Saturn happened whenever the uh, ring planet passed through the Leo constellation the same side of the solar system where the black star is moving through it's now it's moved into Virgo and I'm anticipating that it's going to move into Libra and then the report that I just made, the recent report on the magnetopause reversal, extremely important. What we're looking at here, the bow shock on the dark side of the Earth, that's impossible. The only way that this happens is if a superior flow of subatomic particles comes from the dark side of the Earth that defeats the solar wind. And this event happened not for an hour, not for two hours, but for more than a full day, March 12th and 13th, 2012. So these are indications that there's something that's out there. We cannot see it, but we can measure the influence that it has on our Earth and the other planets in the solar system. Something I did not put on here, which I'm, I may run and get, looks like I'm going to have enough time, is the fact that the heliosphere has shrunk 25% in just the last decade. Let me go right here and just keyword that. Heliosphere shrinking by 25%, and you'll see what I mean. Right here on this website, the sun's heliosphere shrinking and weakening. 25% in just the last decade has weakened by 25% in just the last decade. You see, this is something that harp on the earth cannot influence. People that think that, oh, well, it's harp or it's planetary alignments or it's these you know all these other excuses for all the changes going around us need to take all of the evidence into account so what can cause all the quakes what can cause the volcanism the sinkholes magnetic pull migration the mass animal deaths what can cause all of these things to happen at the same time another thing is that the sun cannot reach solar maximum we're now in the longest solar cycle 24 is the longest duration than any solar cycle for more than a hundred years the, the um, magnetic poles have not changed. 
and what's going on with the sun is very strange and I urge you to go to astral traveler on YouTube he monitors it very carefully and then we're seeing the geopolitical side and you can google this NASA sends warning video to employees to prepare lots of these videos are out there they made two of these this is actually looks like the same video from 2011 I believe it came out in June that's being reshared here and they came out with two warnings and then you see the USGS came out with a warning then you see Janet Napolitano come out with a warning and these are warnings of the power grids going down and that's going to happen because of the solar flares that are associated with the converging magnetic portal connections it's a little bit it's a little bit difficult to explain but I made a video on those magnetic portal connections and you if you if you don't understand you can go back and look at that information earth magnetic field shows signs of significant weakening and this is happening at a time when earth is moving towards outside orbit position after we have crossed orbit and we move to outside orbit position that would be in here let's use let me just bring up the solar system here okay Virgo is right behind the Sun Virgo is right here this is where the black star is look where the earth is here see the earth was in alignment back here you see the April this is when we had all those big giant earthquakes eight magnitude six seven magnitudes seventeen five magnitudes now as we go to outside orbit position the magnetic pole migration of our magnetic north pole switches and it did so on May the 21st when earth was just about in this position that's because we cross black star orbit path and begin moving away the magnetic north pole starts racing north at that point and the magnetosphere starts fluttering right in this area here especially in the northern hemisphere it seems to push down right here but it's fluttering that's going on then as earth comes around like this we're going to have a backside alignment you can see that it's going to be about October 12th 13th 14th somewhere right in this area we're going to have a backside alignment but as we're coming around the magnetic portal connection that's running from the black star to the earth is going to cross the Sun there's a magnetic portal connection running from the earth to the Sun and from the Sun to the black star and as these triangle this right triangle is reduced to a straight line portal to portal cross firing is going to take place and you're going to see flares that take place on this side of the Sun right here some coming towards us some coming over here and we have three x-class flares that are created here just like we have three x-class flares that are created over here as we after we pass the orbit path the reason is because the magnetic portal connections are twisting together and untying and it's dynamic also so there are this is something that nobody can predict exactly what day or how it's going to happen it's like spaghetti strings being tied together and then pulled apart and there are lots of variables involved the magnetic portal connection between the black star and the Sun is increasing in diameter and at, as the black star comes nearer to the Sun so it's pulsating and it has that that pulsating causes the inner conduits to expand which means that it can push against the outer wall of the magnetic portal connection bypassing the passive conduits that provide insulation properties so it's a little bit complicated to explain but this is why we have the solar flares here and we have them again here right there right about you know the beginning of October magnetic portal connection convergence and then cross firing then we have an alignment event like the 7.3 Japan and the 7.3 Philippine quake last year and then the magnetic portal connections untie and then we can have a singular large event or we can have multiple events that's just the pattern and that's the way it works and the in the seismic pattern we have a lull in the indicator quakes on this end of the orbit and this end of the orbit so we're able to identify the uptick the downtick and everything in between using the mechanics that we can see through the magnetic portal connections and so anyway the common pattern here in the earth changes is that they're all happening at the same time the fact that Jupiter and Saturn are involved Venus's rotation has reduced it now is slower as a retrograde orbit 245 days is now longer so we're talking about something that is infecting our entire solar system the heliosphere shrinking the Sun cannot reach solar maximum our our magnetosphere is weakening and all these symptoms together tell us that there is something definitely coming from space and that we need to be looking up rather than at the propaganda that we're seeing in the news reports and that what's coming through the news media so that's the 
the earth change update and i'll see you guys on the next video